guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I'm going to be showing you how to list a mystery box on Etsy. Now, the reason I chose to try this on Etsy first is because it's my understanding that it is allowed on Etsy and there, um, there are no hardcore rules like there are on eBay. So I'm not saying I'm not going to try listing a mystery box on eBay. I am just, uh, I just haven't got around to it and Etsy was my first choice. So here we go. So the first thing I did was I created a graphic in PicMonkey and I chose um, a background that was really um, <clears throat> eye-catching and that would get pe people's attention. So I went with this neon green color. And so I wrote mystery box, surprise goodies included. And um, I put a little box in there with a question mark. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and put my title in, mystery box, Surprise goodies enclosed. Okay, so who made it? I did. What is it? A finished product. When did you make it? Uh, these will be made to order. Category uh, handmade. So let's see, what are we going to put it under? Um, hmm. What will I put it under? Let's just say, uh, oh gosh, I don't know what to choose. Let's just go with home and living for the time being. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I should put. Okay, so I'm not even going to finish filling that part out. So we'll just go with that. And then I'm going to come down here, choose primary color. Oh, I don't know. We'll put brown for box. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come on down and let's include a description. And I'm going to say, uh, let's see, everyone loves a good mystery. Take a chance with me and you won't be disappointed. Wait, does that sound bad? <laughs> uh, let me say, not with me, let me say, take a chance with this box and you won't be disappointed. disappointed. Um, <clears throat> super fast shipping with delivery confirmation. I always like to put that in my listings. So we're going to come on down. Buyers can request customization. No. Um, section of my store. That is a good question. Where am I going to put this? I think I'm just going to choose none for the time being. Like I said, this is all brand new to me and I have no idea. I haven't even made the box yet. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, make a video about that too so you guys can see what all I put in the box. Okay, so I'm thinking for price-wise for my very first box, I think I will start it at uh, $24.99. Okay, and then we are going to come down here. And since I'm really not sure about shipping it, I think I will just put, uh, uh, we will probably just charge them like padded flat rate cost. Okay, and then we'll come down here, and everything is good to go, so I'm going to publish it. Um, this is going to cost me 20 cents. Do I agree? Yes, I do, and the listing will be good for four months. So let's publish it. Okay, boom. <laughs> How exciting. So it is listed, so let's go look at it. Okay, so if you guys want to follow me on Etsy, this is my shop. I'm Couture Adore on Etsy and on eBay, too. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is, a mystery box. So I'm so excited to have this listed. I can't wait to see if I get some, um, some inquiries on it or better yet, a sale. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Um, share the video with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already and be expecting another video from me regarding the mystery boxes soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.
Hey guys, okay, I was just kidding. The video is not over. I decided to also make a mystery box of jewelry. So I buy a bunch of the jewelry jars whenever I see them and the pieces that I don't end up selling on eBay or Etsy or in my antique booth, I like to um, get rid of them other ways and this is another great way to do that. So um, who doesn't want a mystery box of jewelry? That sounds like so much fun to me. Okay, so I already made my graphic here. And I chose a real pretty Tiffany blue color, hoping that that would uh, get people's attention. So I went ahead and listed a title here, Mystery Box of Jewelry. Lots of goodies for you. Um, here it asks who made it. I said I did. What is it? It's a finished product. When did you make it? And I chose it's made to order. Uh, this is handmade and the option I chose was jewelry. I can't really choose a color because there's it's really just multicolor. Um, let's see what else. No theme, holiday. So I filled in a small little description here. And I don't know what this production partner is. I've never seen that before. Um, buyers can request customization. No. We are going to leave this blank because I don't really see an option. I guess I need to go back and add a section that says mystery for my store. So for this one, I think I'm going to go a little bit cheaper because I'm hoping to move them. So I'm going to choose $9.99 for this one and quantity one. I wonder what this variations. Let's look at that because I was looking at some other people's listing and you were able to add variations by size. So prices vary for each size. Let's try that um, and see what happens. See if we can add like a small, medium, and a large size. Save and continue. Oh, I guess I have to choose add a variation. Oh, okay, well, let's see. Um, how about I pick size? Do you realize none of these work? Create a new variation, and we're going to call it size. Add. Okay, um, prices vary for each size. Uh, we'll call it size. Wait, what did it say? Please enter an option name. Small. Add. Medium. Add. And large. Add. Save and continue. Okay, it's still not letting me continue. Is there something down here I'm missing? Oh my goodness, let's see. Okay, I, I, I guess it didn't save what I just did. So, okay, I'm just not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna go with the 9.99 and let's see what happens. So I will charge a padded flat rate because I'll probably, well, I probably won't put that many items in there. Maybe three or four for 10 bucks. What do y'all think? I'll go with the jewelry listing or the jewelry shipping rather. Okay, so let's see what happens when I hit publish. Okay, publish. Okay, that looks good. Oopsie, let's go here. Uh, yes, leaf page. All right, so let's find the listing and go look at it. Okay, let's see. Mystery box of jewelry, lots of goodies for you. Okay. So I guess it didn't accept my size variation thing. I'm going to have to play around with that some more, but that's definitely something I'm going to figure out how to do and put that on my future listings. So, um, okay, this is really it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like and share with your friends, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.